My name is Kartika and I'm going to moderating this session uh, about community engagement. Our, I will introduce our speakers. The first one is uh, Iksan Mokhtar. He is the co-founder of Wikimedia Indonesia and active contributors of Wikimedia, Wikipedia Mina. And then uh, for the second speakers, uh, it's supposed to be presented by Anthony Diaz, who is the co-founder of Wiki Advocate Phil, Philippine. Uh, however, uh, Imelda Brazil uh, will presenting on behalf of Anthony. Imelda is a volunteer from Wiki Philippines in the Central Bicol, Tagalog, and English Wikipedia and Wikidata. Uh, she is also the admin of the Central Bicol Dictionary in, in Philippine project. Uh, for the third presentations, uh, later we will have two presenters. Okay. The first one is Lee Bomsu in here, and then we the, uh, we will have Park Jangsik uh, to join us a bit later. Both of them are the uh, director of the Wikimedia Korea uh, board members. Okay, uh, I'm pre for five five Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Iksan Mokhtar. I'm from uh, Wikimedia uh, Indonesia. I'm a member of Wikimedia Indonesia. And I'm also from the community of uh, Minangkabau speaker uh, language in uh, West Sumatra. And also because I live near Jakarta, I'm, I'm also active in uh, Jakarta community Wikipedia. Okay, um, this is a survey that uh, we did. Uh, actually, it is done uh, with Rahmat. So me and Rahmat, we conducted a, research, a survey. Um, we were trying to uh, get some ideas why some uh, people uh, still contributed in Wikipedia or Wikimedia after four years. Yeah, so um, uh, the intention is uh, to know what make, makes them uh, still contributing and what are the challenges that they face. And also, uh, maybe we can uh, use the finding to uh, make policies to support uh, certain communities to make people stay longer in our community. So without further ado, let me just continue. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we conducted it in the, the month of October and uh, we sent it through Wikipedia account email uh, and also from site notice at uh, Indonesian Wikipedia. Why Indonesian Wikipedia? Because uh, Wikipedia in Indonesia uh, from uh, many languages, they uh, they must be also uh, an Indonesian, Indonesian language speaker. Yeah, because Indonesian language is also imposed on them since their uh, elementary schools. So they can also uh, understand uh, Bahasa Indonesia. So we conducted here. And um, the number of uh, respondents are 100. Uh, the targeted uh, criteria are people that already edit at least four years and have edited at least at the time of uh, the survey five times and uh, they are not permanently blocked okay and the number of respondents who meet the criteria are 45 people and we have 30 questions but we only present half of them uh, for uh, time consideration okay from the uh, identity of the people who already edited uh, more, more than four years and still contributing, 24% uh, is from the age group of 17 to 25 years old. And uh, about 
49% from the age of 26 to 35 years old, and 20% from 36 to 45, and above 45, 7%. And the gender, 91% male. <laughs> Not surprising. 7% <laughs> female and 1% uh, two, two, one people, two percent is not answering. Okay, uh, and nine percent of them uh, contributed uh, between four to five years, and ninety-one percent also uh, more than five years. And the topic that they contribute are, uh, I think, are quite um, wide ranging like history, geography, culture, public figures, society, technology, natural science, religion, health, you know, almost every topic. And so we, we would like to find why, what uh, really invites them to contribute the first time. So 96% is because they like the idea of knowledge sharing, okay? And uh, also, 60% said that they found an error in a, an article, and also they are competent in the field of the article. And about 59% said that uh, I want to show uh, to the public about my, my understanding or my knowledge about the topic. And uh, they also they saw uh, a red link and they want to develop a new skill. Uh, I assume it's a writing skill. And they want to participate in a discussion about an, an article. And they're wondering uh, why it can be edited by everyone. So, like my friend there. <laughs> okay. And the obstacle in editing uh, for the long time uh, contributors, 80% said that the lack of time. Yeah, so uh, mind you that this is the person already editing for five years or more, maybe seven years, eight years, something like that. Uh, and also they have other online activities uh, and also policies and guidelines become more complex. Uh, and also 18%, they have other conflicts with other uh, users or contributors. And 16% said that, well, other people have done it. Uh, I don't have to uh, edit that article anymore. Okay. okay. And the reason why they are less active than before, again, uh, this is the same uh, reason. 84% said that lack of time, they have another activities uh, online and also they want to spend time with their family or their work offline and also policies and conflict uh, around 16 percent and also uh, other people have contributed and it's it's about the same i enjoy reading and not contributing okay Okay, and this is uh, the positive uh, motives. Uh, why they still continue to edit in, in their capacity, in the decreased capacity? I enjoy contributing. I like the idea of knowledge volunteering. Contributing to Wikipedia makes me happy. I often find articles incomplete or biased. And I believe that knowledge is for everyone. And I prefer to look for a mistake to fix. And I like the philosophy of openness and collaboration. So those are the findings that above 50%. Okay. And here we want to find out about uh, their engagement with uh, our communities in Indonesia like we have several communities in Indonesia. So in the right side, you see that 18 people, uh, like 40% of the respondent, 
they are not connected to any communities. Okay, and 24% or 11 people said they are involved in only one communities. And six people or 13% said they are involved in two communities. And uh, also 4% for people involved in three or four communities. And the other six people involved in more than five communities. Maybe I assume this is the uh, also long, long contributor and also uh, Wikimedia Indonesia member. <laughs> Probably so they are involved in uh, more than uh, three communities. Okay. Uh, so this is the number of community members that they are already, you know, meet or associated with or discuss or something like that. So 17 people said they are already uh, know someone or uh, have involvement with people in Jakarta. And it's followed by Yogyakarta in central Java. And in Padang, 10 people. And in Wikidata Indonesia communities, uh, eight people. And also five people in Denpasar, Medan, and Wikisource community, and Bandung. And also uh, Gorontalo uh, in far north uh, near Philippines, four people. And the other one are only three and two people in Banjar, Nias, Madura, in in, uh, Batakni's incubator, Makassar. And the one down there, Wikimedia Indonesia, I just give an asterisk because it's probably in Jakarta also. Okay. So from those uh, who replied, we asked, uh, have you ever got any support or whatever it is from the community 40 percent said yes i get support from the community and 60 percent said they maybe they uh, they are connected to the communities but they don't get the support yeah so 18 percent uh, 18 people or 40 percent said uh, they got some kind of support from the community and 27% or 60% said uh, they haven't received or they didn't get any support from the communities. Okay, what forms of support that they receive? 50% said moral support. <laughs> you know, encouragement or uh, inviting them to come to the event, something like that. And uh 22 percent or four people said they receive uh phone cell credit yeah so they can edit and uh, also some also said they receive support um in transportation or they receive some kind of fund unspecified and miscellaneous and miscellaneous support yeah on also consumption and sporting activities Okay, so uh, from the people who said that they got support, community support, we ask again, is the support received sufficient enough? 56% uh, said uh, already sufficient, 39% uh, said not yet, and the other one, uh, supported or not, we will still contribute, or I do not expect any support because uh, I'm unable to be very active. So something like that. Okay. And uh, for the last few questions, we want to check their belief. So we said here, everyone needs to get involved in contributing to Wikipedia and starting with small things. 53% said, they strongly agree. 24% said they agree. 18% or eight people said neutral. Disagree one. Strongly disagree one. Okay. And another belief that we want to check. Every Wikipedia user needs to set a good example to attract new users on Wikipedia. Again, 58% said strongly agree. And six 
16 people or 36% said agree, neutral to, no disagree, and one strongly disagree. This is the leftist one, I think. <laughs> okay. And here we ask again. Every Wikipedia user needs to create a good atmosphere to increase the interest of existing user to continue participating in Wikipedia. 69% oh, said uh, they strongly agree. 24% said they agree. Uh, neutral to, no disagree, strongly disagree, one. Okay, and I think this is the last one. Every Wikipedia user needs to promote to the public the positive contribution he or she has made to attract more public interest in Wikipedia. 38% said strongly agree. 40% said agree. Neutral, 13%. Disagree, 1%. Strongly disagree, 7%. So, what's next for us? Uh, because we have 30 uh, questions, but we only show like 15 because of lack of time and lack of time to analyze more critically. We will write more comprehensive uh, article about the result of the survey, and we will use it as a consideration for our community support policies at Wikimedia Indonesia. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Uh, good morning again, everyone. I am Imelda, and I will be speaking on behalf of Anthony, my uh, colleague in our little user group. So uh, just a background. Uh, I will be speaking in my voluntary capacity, and this is my first time speaking in an international group. So I usually speak in my own language during training. So I will, <laughs> I will ask your patience to be uh, I will ask you to be patient uh, in using English language. In my, in me using the English language, I might murder it sometimes, but just keep an open mind. So, uh, uh, if you happen to want to train in my own language, I assure you, mm -hmm. I will be able to teach you good speaking Central Pico language. So, yeah. Uh, just again, just another background. Uh, every Wikimedia projects, I mean, that we launch, uh, it just really goes under incubation. Uh, it's like Wikimedia Incubator. And uh, before and before a wiki project is being launched in a public domain, uh, it will undergo a uh, screening from the language committee and all. So, and also uh, to be able to do this, you will need consistency in having your own volunteers and editing uh, continuously and uh, communicating with other groups to maintain uh, editing in these projects. And then, yeah, uh, another principle that help, <clears throat> excuse me, that helps us uh, develop this project is that we start in small uh, because we, uh, during our first couple of years of being a volunteers, we are very, very ambitious that we try to like reach out to every region of the country. But I think it is not, very helpful for our group because uh, we cannot really follow up in this uh, other communities within the Philippines because we don't have the capacity. First, because we are not a recognized user group. And uh, when you visit our meta page, you will see that there is a banner saying that this is not a recognized user group. And that hinders us in partnering with other organizations within our country. And also uh, we are being labeled that we are like a legitimate group in conducting this kind of uh, trainings with other communities. So, yeah, so we realized that uh, if we started small uh, within our community, it will help us maintain the consistency and also um, the transfer of skills will be easier for us, uh, considering that we don't have much resources, we don't have much partners to do this kind of events. So, uh, uh, yeah, with that, uh, we come up with the project uh, Hatcha Wiki. It, it means that we're going to work on uh, this little language within the Philippines so that we will be able to like hatch it out in incubator. So that is our goal that uh, out of uh, different eight languages in the Philippines, uh, we are going to try to help them create their uh, little uh, media projects starting from uh, Wikipedia Dictionary, Wikicodes, and probably Wikipedia's 
uh, in the long run because uh, in the case of the Philippines, uh, Wikipedia is like a big project for volunteers because we need to like create longer articles. But since we don't have the time and the volunteers, I think uh, we decided that Wiktionaries like adding uh, descriptions, definitions, and examples will be much easier for volunteers that we are re recruiting. Yeah, and as the history, I cannot. Sorry. So yeah, so uh, this is the history of uh, Hatcha Wiki project. Uh, we started under the Central B Dictionary, and uh, in 2019 we tried to apply for a grant to like train uh, trainers for uh, editing in B Dictionary. So we we ran like six meetings. We invited 22 editors, and with that uh, project, we were able to like create 979 word entries for the first time, uh, for our first experience under the incubator project. And we get uh, like a second iteration uh, under the Wiko Dictionary edit account. Yep. And then uh, from 979, we reached 100 and 1,800 words. Uh, and now we have like 16, uh, well, both old and new editors participating in our event. And after a year and a couple of months, uh, we, will, we were able to like hatch uh, the Vico Dictionary project, uh, which is like an incubator for around 13 years and nobody's like touching it or like looking at it. And after 13 years, uh, we were able to like uh, did it successfully. Uh, I, owe, I owe it a lot to uh, the grants team for giving us the opportunity to like have this project and be able to create our, to be able to hatch it out of incubator and also to the volunteers who are very consistent in participating in our trainings. So after, after we hatched the Central Beagle Dictionary, we started uh, to, we decided to start working on our wiki codes and uh, Tagalog wiki code. So, why did we we decided to uh, like hatch another uh, instead of like further developing? I mean, why did we start another project even though we have just a newly developed uh, wiki project? Uh, it's because at, uh, during these years, uh, the campaigns on she said and she said campaigns and like art art plus feminism campaigns. Uh, Wiki for Human Rights campaigns are running every year, and we will we would like to like participate uh, in this kind of campaigns, even though we are like a very little uh, user group, and we really cannot. Uh, I mean, by volunteers and the community that we are reaching, find finds it very difficult to contribute on Wikipedia's, and then we decided that we are just going to contribute by. Um, creating codes uh, relating to art plus feminism, relating to Wiki for Human Rights, and uh, she said campaign. So that is why we started working on the Central Wiki Wikicode and the Tagalog Wikicode. So yeah, so this is like uh, just the history of the central vehicle and then the gallery vehicle. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, key highlights for over two years. Uh, our central vehicle dictionary uh, has now 5,000 entries. Yeah. And we are like, we have already 30 editors participating on and off but we have like 10 consistent editors. And uh, successfully, we also have uh, the Central Beacle Wikicode and the Tagalog Wikicode out of incubator up after a couple of years. So I think uh, in, my, in my point of view, I, I think I'm confident to say that the Hatcha Wiki project is 
successful in the last couple of years. And uh, in the last Wikimania, we were asked to present about this uh, wiki projects. So, um, yeah, so that's our own wiki code. Uh, wiki Sambit is the one in Central Vigal and Wiki Kawigan is the one in Tagalog. So I would like to introduce you to the uh, Hacha Wiki team. Uh, most of them also like formed to be the, happy to be the board members of the Wiki Advocates Philippines. Uh, but again, we are not a user group. We're just like a team. So these are our volunteers. Yeah. How do I scroll through? How do I scroll through? Yeah. I have another slide. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so what's next for us? Like uh, we still have more language to work on. And right now we are like connecting with other writers in the region. Uh, if you can look into the map of the Philippines, you will see a very little island uh, facing the Pacific Ocean. And that island is called the Katanduanes Island. Uh, right now uh, the native speaker, they are like communicating with us on how they can like also have their own dictionary in their own language <clears throat> and also uh, we are planning to uh, launch the hatch of Wikimedia program uh, because we we realize that um, the transfers of skill I mean the transfer of skills are uh, the transfer of skills is very important uh, since that uh, Anthony and I uh, would like to be like a volunteer more and a community organizer and we like we want to like not stop but lessen the task of uh training others because uh since anthony is also from articles feminism and i'm handling a lot of like work at the moment we find it very difficult to like uh, maintain the group being a community organizer a volunteer and also as employees so we decided that to create this program so that we will be able to like create more of us and then they will be able to create more of them afterwards so we are, we are looking forward to having more more of me and Anthony in the central vehicle so that they will be able to create their own and who knows what they will be able to make in their own uh, time as well and uh, I think that's that's it. If you can also like uh, scan the code, you will see our presentation during Wikimania and you'll find out more about our volunteers, about Anthony and about the project. So um, I know a lot of you will be asking why Wiktionary instead of Wikipedia. Again, aside from have being very difficult to edit long articles, uh, we discovered that uh, while we edit in Wikipedia before, a lot of people are asking, what is the translation of this? What is the translation of this? Right now we have the Vigal Dictionary in which they can just use to find out the quick translation of the English word so that they can also edit in other Wikimedia projects. So thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I'm, I'm a Bom Suri, and the name is Tutu, and she is a Jiang Shipa and Choi Huri and Jin Jin Jala Man. People, people. And we now, we now presentation to the how to make an editor tone in Korean Wikipedia in online and offline. And, oh, okay. What do you think about uh, editor tone? Editor tone. Uh, already added and brainstorming <laughs> and reduce edit, 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 and uh, end. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, editor tone is uh, 
near the good place uh, it is museum library and a cafe good cafe or you know, good venue and so many many newbies newbies are come there and and have a running time yes. yeah. <laughs> oh it's true so uh in our in before to the COVID and um, Elton is uh, just an offline meeting to meet the other people and communicate to the other people and the new editors running to the what is the Wikipedia and how to the Wikipedia is then and also most important is uh, we snack time so. <laughs> And the uh, lunch or dinner time. <laughs> and also, Korean Wikipedia has uh, just oh, editor turn is just uh, offline. And but uh, Wikimedia Wikimedia Foundation yeah. is project are getting online, but it's so little and small. Yeah. 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 And but in twenty nineteen, the COVID nineteen is uh affected all of the country and also South Korea government has uh, forbidden to the offline meeting and other getting getting to people is uh, forbidden. So, and social distancing is uh, very important in the South Korea. So, Wiki group also don't gather to the offline meeting. So we get to together in Online meeting is the uh, online editor tone. And, and for small, small meet is uh, in the bubble, but uh, it's four, four persons and three persons is a very small, small meet. Yeah. And so, back together, so we are starting to the online editor tone. But, uh, however, it's the uh, Online editor is uh, also first time to the uh, organize to the Korean Wikipedia. So many Korean independence movement in memory of the editor Yes, for example, the uh, like the offline editor tones and making the online editor tones. Yes. Oh, people twenty. Before 2019, uh, Orion Ato Tones, Offline Ato Tones, uh, so yeah, so part of uh, Orion, Offline Ato Tones. Oh, well, 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 Three to one movement centenary, centenary memorial at tone. This is the uh, last day in offline at tone, and for one, one month is uh, online at tone uh, played. Oh, yeah. so this uh, three one memorial at tone is a uh, picture. <laughs> Just uh, four people. Those are five people. Uh, five uh, people. Picture is take me. <laughs> uh, so part participation for the offline eight tone is uh, all right. Is a three one cemetery online eight tone, but online eight tone was more particular creation than off offline eight tone. Uh, so many ten ten user ten over user. Uh, so. Many people is uh, better than online eight or ten. Oh, this was very interesting. Yeah. And and then the twenty twenty, uh, we are start to the online eight or ten subject of war and peace. This is a uh, uh, Korean War seventeenth Memorial Day at year. So, but these times Korean government. All most of the uh, forbidden, uh, okay. yeah, forbidden the most of the social gathering for 
whether the all people's the two in the over to the over the two people is the gathering is forbidden. So yeah. the this editor tone is the first time to the only online editor tone. Yeah. Oh. And I, the, I friend but friend the offline editor tone. Uh, the, but. The, but uh, just the uh, but, <laughs> but just the uh, offline is the uh, just can only gather the only two people. So yeah. offline editing is the uh, failure because the uh, we cannot gather to the other people. So we trying we cannot gather to uh, make make uh, the snack time. So we are we are trying to the uh, return to the money of this venue and snack back uh, by the snack to make uh, as a buying the price. So for example, when we get to the online the online uh, the particular particular to price is uh, some books or the, some gifts and and some certificate. Many people very, very right gift the quantificate. <laughs> this is right and, money. <laughs> and this first time only all only online entertain is uh, very successful. So yes. our Wiki, Wikimedia Korea has uh going to the bank uh, many online entertain and also for example 20, 2020 Tokyo Olympics and 2022. Uh, Beijing or Beijing Winter Olympics editor and we we even tried the uh, editor contest is very successful. Uh, many people wants uh, our own own online editor. This needs uh, are this needs yeah. are so very <laughs> terrible. And also now we now. Uh, open to the online entertainment, but it's a very many advantages or no, not to the disadvantages. Uh, when we get out, when we organize to the online entertainment, the barriers are uh, very disappeared and very low. So many people and anyone can make the entertainment when the we Organize the offline editor The people want to go into uh, people want to participate participate to the editor tone is uh, must go into the offline venue. So it's uh, very hard to the other when uh, other cities. So offline editor tone particular particular is uh, very limited. But online entertain is uh, not very up to the where city or where uh, other situation. Yeah. And also participation also com com comfortably because uh, they gather to in home and just uh, click to the Wikipedia homepage. Yeah. And instead, and we, when we make a buy and make a snacks or ban, or imagine a venue, and we use the, this money to buy to the price and we get to the people participate, participate. And the, when we get to the Olympic editor, we, yeah. we buy to the, some gift yeah. for the- and and, For example, batches. Uh, or Olympic badge is very uh, useful yeah. and uh, very good and item. Good. Yeah. yeah, and and this when of online editor is uh, have a uh, many advantages, but it also have a uh, many um, pros. The uh, online yeah. and first is a. Uh, Online editor is uh, too easy to open, so everyone wants to get wants to organize to the online editor So very low level and it's uh, not organized, not well organized to the editor is uh, 
very many fruit eat. Uh, for example, uh, one day and 10 orange apple tones uh, uh, included here. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's a too frequently high. So pe people want to the participate to online total is a too variable subject. And so many are so, so distinct, discrete and also, the the editor tone is uh, is not successful because uh, so no people so not people get out to the our online editor tone and and uh, the scoring as uh, grading grading is very difficult so too 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 difficult oh because uh, we are used the difficult scoring method to filter out the cherry pickers. Cherry pickers are only one skipper. <laughs> so uh, one, one article so uh, edited. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to press give a gift. <laughs> so, and, and so, so, and the, so low children want to get <laughs> gather to want to participate the online tutorial and they want to uh, just uh, I want to give in the gift. So it's uh, too hard to they it's a uh, it's this is child picking and it is uh, not good for the our Wikipedia's the uh, making our uh, articles. Yes. And but online editor tone is uh, not bad and very good, very good. Uh, we'll continue to be here because online editor tone is very good event and very many people want that. So we choose that we Wikipedia community Wikipedia Korea communities make uh, the organized to the some subject to make some subject and community maker a total and because uh, it's a short comments and it's a but it's a also uh, it's a not hard to the you can also for the this stuff what are we at? <laughs> it's so hard it's so hard to the get into the offline offer uh, it's a or it's a only to how to the get in offline so online online editor tone is uh, now get that for looking forward to the to get into new ed editors in the Korean Wikipedia yeah um oh we can also look forward to the resumption of the offline data tone uh, because meeting is very happiness. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this uh, ESFA conference is too. Yeah. <laughs> and, but online data tone is uh, for students uh, very, very, mm. you, very, very useful uh, because. Uh, Students and children are not going to offline at all. Uh, they, their parents, their parents are don't like Wikipedia. <laughs> so because uh, yeah. study studies uh, because uh, in Korea the par parents is uh, just going to the. Our university, <laughs> so it's too hard to get into children into the Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> and so online total has so many problem and flow, but online total is a useful tool to for the future users. Yeah. Future users. Oh, thank, thank you very much. <laughs>
All right, thank you very much to uh, all four of our speakers this morning. Uh, I will open the floor for discussion, comments, and questions. Anyone? Okay, we have three in here. Okay. Yeah. Have there been cases where there are international editors coming to some of the um, online edit-a-thons or offline edit-a-thons? And what, what steps could you take to uh, accommodate internationals? Uh, in South Korea, and uh, in Korean, don't run to the other artists or the other countries people. So it's too, too, too leader in international particular characters. But when we open to the Olympic editor or the some war editor like to the it's uh, too e too use easy to get on into in forgiveable people. They some English speakers get into the our online editor and at the this, but I it's too little. Uh, it's uh, not have uh, the forgiveable speakers in the Korean Wikipedia. It's uh, I think that this is a Korean artist is a Kore Korean speaker is the only most of the Korean speakers have a Korean artist. All right, the second question, uh, Mia. Okay, thank you for the presentation. So I'm Mia from Indonesia, and I have experience in uh, making online and offline, and I agree with the online uh, meeting because uh, everyone can join. But I have a um, question. Um, do you have any um, different uh, time for online and offline? Because uh, in my experience, it's very hard to choose like in the weekend or maybe in the evening or afternoon. Is there any difference between oh. online and offline? Mm -hmm. And then the second one um, for online meeting, does everyone have good internet or is there any trouble? Yeah, thank you. Uh, first is... Yes, um... Very big difference. Yeah. Online editors not exchange chance. Yes, but offline editor tone is meet and talking and uh, so so and have a dining. So exchange chance is very very small on uh, on online editor tone. Yeah. And second is the. Uh... Most Korean have most most Korean can access to the internet, and we know that the uh, Korean can access to the internet rate is uh, ninety nine to ninety over to the ninety nineteen percent. So it's uh, we have a uh, not problem to the uh, access access problem in online total. And thank you. thank you for your question. Hi, I'm Jacqueline from Singapore, and I have a question from Imelda, the Hedge of Wiki project. Um, so thank you very much for sharing, and I, I, I know a little bit more about your project. So I want to ask: um, in the last two years, you have built a pipeline of young people in your project. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, and also how that leads to um, leadership renewal, capacity strengthening, and how do you retain these young people? All right, uh, thank you for your question. Uh, so uh, just a background, I am also a librarian and a college teacher for the Library and Information Science. So and, and, uh, when I transferred to the secondary school, I teach uh, empowerment technology and media and information literacy. Uh, in the government. So 
uh, that is a very good avenue for me to identify a very good students. So that's where I started. Like um, I am teaching senior high grade, it's grade 12, you know, I think it's middle, junior. I don't know. So uh, that is a very good avenue for me to like identify a very good pros prospect students to like invite uh, in our edit -athons. And uh, fortunately, they're really what I, I'm thinking about them. Like they're very eager to learn. And yeah, they they stayed. Uh, so they continue to like join us. And sometimes when we don't have any uh, capacity building, for example, for within a three months time, they started communicating that when are we going to start editing again? When are you going to train us? Something like that. So I think it's a very good chance for me that I have uh, the community that I can serve because where uh, where I live is like a far flung area. It's most coast, mostly coastal and not much internet connection so there's not much that we can do in our spare time and uh, being a teacher i am required to like have my own internet connection my own gadget so uh at first some of them i invited on a like movie like we i just invited them to like let's have a movie and all and then they start asking what are you doing in your spare time so i'm like you know wikipedia and all and so that's where we started and they like very interested especially that they know that they can edit using their own language it's very important that you tell everyone that i am not saying that we are not very academic or very technical uh, in my line of work as a librarian uh, i am trained to like uh, navigate within this very academic and very technical perspective and um, transforming it into like uh, very like not so technical for other people so I think it is a good edge for me that like I can translate uh, the technicalities of Wikipedia to be to making it simple for students to understand and to make them feel included and that they can also share um, even though it's very uh, very minimal for them but I think I, I always tell them that uh, your very small contribution is a very big contribution for the community. That's all. Thank you. I hope I answered your question. All right. We got uh, uh, Belinda first, and then after that, Heidi for the last okay. question. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for the, for the presentations. They are all very informative. Mm -hmm. So the first question will be... Uh, uh, for for the uh, for the first presentation, um, okay. Okay. Um, well, yeah, there is a forty percent uh, who are not part of at least one community, right? So, uh, why are they not part of a community? And then the second part, the second question is: Do you have any plans of encouraging them to be part of at least one community? And then the second question is um, for Imelda. At the, it's about the Wikikawikaan. Uh, there is currently a Tagalog editing community. So number one is, um, are there were there efforts to reach out to them uh, to 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 be able to help, especially that they they are they are the Tagalog. I mean, it is their mother tongue. So, if they were to teach out, uh, is there a plan to include them in editing the Wikikawikaan? And then the third is for the Koreans. Thank you for the presentation. Actually, we, uh, we were invited to participate, actually, to teach some college students um, to edit online. So I was wondering if, uh, back then we were using Discord. So I was wondering what pro, uh, what did you use in your online? It's, it's because um, in, in using Discord, we had some problems. So we are looking for another program that we can use for online, for online edit accounts. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for the question. Uh, uh, why there's uh, about 40% of the old timers who is not uh, relating to the communities? Uh, I think we should uh, 
research more or go deeper on on that. Uh, but my my take on this is probably because um, the 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 channel of information that we we contributed uh, our invitation is probably uh, mostly in our uh, meta page or in our site notice but uh, those people they are you know they have limited time and they use their limited time to contribute in wikipedia according to what interests them so maybe it's not uh, the right time when they go online and see the announcement uh, I, I cannot uh, be sure about that but that's probably one thing and the other thing is probably by choice right some some of them uh, they don't want to get involved because uh, they have like other activities other responsibilities for their family but i think we should uh, research more about that and uh, and uh, the last thing is, I think, um, as long as I think for for the the people that already contributed like four years or more, as long as they still contribute and they think it's fine, if not connected to the uh, the community, the 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 offline community, I should say, I think that's okay. So it's depend on them. Thank you. I hope it satisfies your question. Yeah. Great. All uh, right. Uh, so thank you for your question. Uh, uh, for your first, for your first question, uh, yes, we know that uh, there is an entity community in Tagalog, but uh, from what I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, we don't really have the capacity to like reach out to more people, uh, since we don't have the budget, uh, to do this kind of reach out and then ask for help from anyone. And uh, we are we are being limited uh, with time and resources, but we always want uh, anyone to be included in this kind of uh, activities. And uh, also, uh, the main purpose of Hatcha Wiki is that uh, to hatch it out of incubator so that anyone can also start editing already. Because as we know, when a project is incubator, it is far more difficult to edit because you will like, add prefix. So, and the templates are getting jumbled and all. But when it is out of incubator, uh, like uh, the useful Wikipedia, anyone can start editing. So uh, anyone from any language or anyone who speak uh, Tagalog or who can try to edit Tagalog can can do activities, do, re do outreach activities for Wikikawika and after we launch it out of incubator. So we are not really uh, doing it as an exclusive project because as we all know, all Wikimedia projects are for everyone. So anyone who will try to like plan out events for Wikisambit and Wikikawika and is also always welcome to do this kind of outreach anytime, anywhere. So just uh, feel free to do it. But uh, for now, I don't think we have the capacity to reach out to the Tagalog community uh, because uh, first we don't have the name, second we don't have resources, and so at the moment we don't have the time. So uh, I apologize if you think that we have excluded you in working in this project, but uh, the main purpose of uh, really hatching out of incubator is to make it available for everyone. So yeah, I hope I answered your question. Hmm. I I'm sorry for to the what is the your last question to the what? Uh, what? Uh, we are just uh, using to the Zoom or the Google Meet to the uh, people to the gallery. Okay. Thank you.